Most people who go into politics are sincere in wanting to help their communities. But they soon learn that our brand of democracy is like trying to bail out a fast-flowing stream. It's futile, and that's what turns intelligent people into behaving like political idiots. Try creating space in a running stream like this. As soon as you've thrown out a bucket of water, the space is filled from water upstream. And that's the kind of politics that we have today. Governments try to solve problems, but they get nowhere. Why is that? It's hopeless because the problems are systemic in their origins, but they use policies that are palliative. And that means there is no way that they can actually solve the problems. Take the case of low-income people. Governments try to help them by subsidising their low wages. But they do this by taxing other people to transfer income to low-income people. And those taxes have the effect of putting a ceiling on our productivity and pricing a lot of workers out of employment. So instead of relieving the pressure on the jobs market, the government policies of subsidies actually add to the pressures on people who need to go to work. If the subsidies aren't from taxes, then governments go into debt to transfer income to low-income people and those debts are then transferred to future generations. So it is just like trying to bail out a stream. It's an endless problem. Then there is the problem of unemployment. Governments try to create jobs by subsidising employers in a variety of ways, but they all end up costing the taxpayer money. Those taxes put a ceiling on productivity which only adds to the pressure on people who are out of work, adding to the unemployment. It's just like trying to bail out a stream. It's endless and it doesn't work. Then there is the housing crisis, a perennial crisis. And what do governments do? Well, they offer subsidies like tax relief for mortgages or other inducements to builders to add to the housing stock. But the consequence of this is that they help to push up house prices, making them unaffordable and thereby perpetuating the housing problem. Instead of getting to the root of the problem, they keep bailing out the fast-flowing stream. It's endless and it doesn't work. And then, what about the banks? Governments regularly bail out banks. They do it at the expense of taxpayers. But we know from one boom-bust cycle to the next that bailing out the banks using taxpayers' money adds to what is called moral hazard. The bank has become more and more reckless, creating bigger and bigger crises, and it all ends up costing the taxpayers a lot of money, and it does not stop future boom-bust property cycles and financial crises. It's all the time bailing out against the stream instead of having the courage to take a stand on the fundamental issues. So what should governments be doing? Well, they need to leave the current levels of government revenue as it is in the short term. And what they should aim to do is alter the composition of the tools that they use for raising revenue. That means they should be beginning to reduce the tax burden on people's earned incomes while drawing more revenue from the rents of the nation, the rents that we all collectively create, the stream of rents produced from the services of nature and society. After a while, it becomes possible to rebalance the economy to start addressing the root causes of things like unemployment and the housing crisis and it would no longer be like bailing out a fast-running stream. 
then we can start talking about reducing the size of government. This can be done, but governments won't take the decisive action because they fear that you will penalise them at the next election by not voting for them if they do the radical thing to solve our problems. So the choice is between continuing to try and bail out the stream, that kind of politics, or taking the decisive action that would rebalance our communities and the economy. The courageous politician, someone who speaks the honest truth to the people, is a rare beast. As a class, they prefer to pass the buck to you, the voter. So what are you going to do about it?